Now I have not been in this particular in here in uh, the reloading shed for <coughs> ever since December. So things are a little bit dusty. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that there's not an overabundance of crud in my pan. That can affect weighing. And then I need to zero in my pan. This is an old reading scale. And if you notice anything about my setup, cheap, old stuff will do just fine. So it's hard to see right now, but I'll move the camera over. And you guys are obviously looking from the opposite end. But I basically need to make that needle sit in the center. And on my end, I can do it. So I have this little screw right here, which I need to make sure that the scale is in the same place because this table might not be level. So I need to just level it. And the easiest way is if it starts to go up and down and whatnot real fast is just to bring it in one direction. So I notice I'm high on it and I need to become square with it. Don't worry, getting up and close and winking is a good way of checking. And again, I do not condone any of the information used in this. This is for purely entertainment purposes only. Do not use this for reloading. This is for purposely entertainment, not instructional. So, once everything is level, this may sound crazy, and this may be a little bit, you know, slow to do, but I'm actually going to do this without my powder measure. I do not trust myself right now to do this without my powder measure. So what I'm going to do is, I got everything squared. Now, the last batch of bullets I did were 52 powder. I'm going to do 52 powder again. I'm going to do about maybe 5 bullets, 52 powder. So I need to set my big weight over to 50. And then I set my little weight over to 2. Now that will do 52 powder. Now this is again, it may be a little bit hard to do, and why is he taking so long to do this? But it's actually easiest for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently pour into here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to set it over here. That way that little tab isn't in the way. Actually, I'm not going to pour. I'm going to do scoops. And I'm going to watch the scale and see how long it takes. Whoop! Now it's really high. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to take a little bit of powder out. And I'm just going to take a little bit of powder out at a time. And if you think, oh, maybe it's stuck, just tap it and see what happens. Now it's really low. Now I need to start pouring powder back in. First, once I get this mosquito off my damn finger, I'm going to get a bite later on. Need to take a little bit of powder. Little bit of powder at a 
time. Now this is to fifths. Now what does your basic math tell you? What's bigger, a fifth or a tenth? A fifth is. So I have less of a margin of error. If it's at tenths, I would have more of a margin of error. More of a margin of error. More of the ability to be able to make up for over pressures. If this goes above five, <clears throat> two times, I've essentially made one that one gram, one grain of powder. So I need to take a little bit more. Level myself out. And she's almost there. Almost there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more. And she's right balanced. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my bullet. I'll show you guys that in a second.